previous order, the motion to reconsider is considered made and laid upon the table, and the President will be immediately notified of the Senate's actions. Mr. President. Senator from Washington. Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent the Senate proceed to legislative session and be in a period of morning business with senators permitted to speak therein for up to 10 minutes each. Without objection. Senator from Florida. Mr. President, uh, for too long, American taxpayer dollars have been used in a backdoor way to help promote abortion as a family planning service. Senate will come to order. President Trump put a stop to this back in 2019. He barred the federal government from providing these funds, uh, the funds through the Title X family planning program, from going to entities that refer or pro provide abortions, organizations such as the big business that is known as Planned Parenthood. Now, it's, understand this didn't reduce Title X funding, didn't cut one penny of it. Instead, it directed it to organizations that do not perform and do not promote the taking of innocent life. Last year, unfortunately, the Biden administration, as was to be expected, pulled the plug on this vital protection. And now we see taxpayer money flowing once again to these abortion providers and to their referrers. This has to stop. And that's why I've worked with Representative Tony Gonzalez in the House to introduce this Congressional Review Act, a Congressional Review Act of Title X, to ensure that not one more taxpayer dollar is used to fund the abortion industry. By reversing this administration's ruling, Abortion clinics will once again be excluded from receiving this taxpayer money, and it would put more money towards improving and saving lives instead of ending them. Senator from Washington. Mr. President, I want to be really clear about what this vote is actually about. This vote is about birth control. This is about life-saving pelvic and breast exams to detect cancer early. And it is about STI testing and treatments. That is the basic reproductive health care that Title X providers deliver to communities, especially to women with the tightest budgets. Republicans are here tonight fighting to undermine health care. It's really that simple. We are here fighting to protect it. I fought long and hard against President Trump's disastrous gag rule. It was a rule that cut Title X provider network in half forced entire states, including my home state of Washington, out of the Title X program. It forced doctors and nurses to withhold information from their patients on all the options they have, including abortion, and ultimately resulted in patients traveling further, paying more, or going without care. In short, it made it harder for women to get birth control and other critical reproductive health care. And that, to me, is unacceptable. That's why I was really relieved when, after years of fighting back against Republicans' extreme agenda, President Biden acted quickly to reverse that dangerous gag rule, and we could finally start rebuilding the Title X network and providing patients with critical reproductive health care. And I know that patients and providers in my state were relieved, too. I heard from them firsthand earlier this month about what this means for our communities. It means that patients in Washington State and across the country can get the birth control they need to plan a family on their own terms. Breast and pelvic exams to detect cancer early, STI testing and treatment, and more. But as has been so often the case, most Republicans were not listening because tonight they are leading a resolution to bring back the gag rule and deny women across the country access to services made possible by Title X. We are talking about basic life-saving health care like cancer screenings. We're talking about STI screenings, which, by the way, is especially important as cases which had already under, uh, reported due to decreased screenings have been spiking now. We're talking about birth control that so many patients depend on to stay healthy, to treat health conditions, to plan their families, and control their own reproductive health. Mr. President, the Senate is not in order. Senators will take their conversations off the floor. The Senator from Washington. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, talking about these issues, it is just unthinkable to me that anyone would not support this program. What are Republicans here talking about? They're talking about, once again, taking this health care away from millions of patients, and tonight they're forcing a vote on it. 
And some extreme Republicans, by the way, are even talking about how they think Griswold versus Connecticut, that's the US Supreme Court case that first struck down a ban on birth control, might have been wrongly decided. This is chilling. The message Republicans are sending tonight with this vote, loud and clear, is that they won't just stop at banning abortion with cruel laws like the ones we have seen in Texas and Oklahoma and across the border from Washington State in Idaho. They are determined to restrict access to all kinds of reproductive health care, from abortion to birth control to STI testing and treatment. Well, Mr. President, we should not stand for this. We can't just let Republicans rip away health care again from women and families. Patients, providers, and families across my state and across the country have spoken out loud and clear on this. And I'm going to make sure that they are heard here in Washington, D.C. I will work hard to make sure we protect Title X from these attacks. And I'm going to make sure everyone who supports this resolution owns what this vote means and who they're voting against, women who want birth control. That is, by the way, two-thirds of women in this country. Patients who are seeking STI screenings, patients who need a cancer screening, people who are just looking for affordable health care and information from providers that they trust. Because you know what? Women, we're not going to forget this. Which party is fighting to protect birth control and which party is doing everything they can to rip your birth control away. I urge every single one of my colleagues to join in with me in voting against this res resolution. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President. Senators are asked to take their conversations off the floor. The senator from Florida is recognized. I move to proceed to calendar number 355, Senate Joint Resolution 41. The clerk will report. Motion to proceed to SJ Res 41, providing for congressional disapproval under Chapter 8 of Title V, United States Code, and so forth. Mr. President, I ask for the yeas and nays. Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be. The question is on the motion to discharge. The clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin. Mr. Brasso. Mr. Bennett. Mr. Rounds, I got you. 